food. Ooh, water. <sighs> Bottles. Bottle net here. Heading across the shifting desert sands to make my way to a concrete slab where I'm gonna break holes and search in prehistoric layers of sand dune or antique bottles. The one thing that can sustain your life in such a desolate, arid climate. Hey, our favorite, Bobby Sauce a lot. What's that? Soda? Souls. Oh, they're loose. They're just loose in there. Don't pry like that. I know. You gotta pry that thing straight out. I know, that's a short day. Well, if I knew I needed it, Job Moses. You do? Huh. I'm thirsty. I need a soda. Some window piece. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> right underneath. They the cut slab. this lot of foot. If you can see. <laughs> the wood liners all the way to the surface. Yeah. The grade here has been drastically changed. They've cut a hill, getting the lower part of these privies. Oh, that's 
need a mini shovel to do that stuff. Yeah, you need a precise. Whoa. Just give me that sand. Give me that seedy sand full of intestinal seeds. I love it. Look at that precision. Just pulling it out without whacking the lip. Trying to get to it. I mean, when you. Ooh, God, I hate that noise. Imagine the backhoe scooping into this. Crunch. Precision removal. Oh, it's blue. Yeah. What? Oh, I thought you said it had letters on it. If it did. God, that's Western. Western utility. Whack attacked. Yeah. Uh, soda was used too many times by some kid. cream. Are you ornamental? Uh, so. Here, ornamental and Fallon's. Mm. This, this is actually Oh, oh. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> it's got the must have a cap it's on a it. Whoa. Whoa. Lefevre. Whoa. Lefevre. Lefevre. Whoa. That's a. Med. Be Lefevre Apothecaries. That's a 60s. Oh, it's a pommeled one, I think. Whoa. Sticky ball. Yep. Sticky ball pommeled. Be Lefevre. 60s med with probably a. Uh... No? Thought it have like rust on the top, that weird Could have ball. Had a on it. Yeah, I don't know what that. <laughs> what is this thing? It's, it's like a, a poop ball. There was literally a, a poop ball on the top. A ball of poop with seeds and. Weird. Frenchman B. Lafive was one of the first apothecaries to come to San Francisco during the gold rush and open his business. His cylindrical druggist bottles come in three sizes and date from the late 1850s through the 1860s. They come both pontled and non-pontled and are probably blown in Europe. You take the dirt off the very, if you relieve the dirt from the top of the slab, everything there's, there's will be no, okay. There's no steel in this one. There's no cracks in it either. Ah, what do we got here? Oh my god. Congress waters. Unfortunately, not Pacific Congress waters. Pretty worthy. It's still a beautiful bot. Time and a decent looking McMillan. Oh, cool. Western blown Jamaican ginger. It's got, a, yeah, a nice top, a yeah, tilt terrible. to it. Sixties. Oh. Whoa. 
What was that? Well, I don't know. Wasn't that you? Yeah, what was that? <laughs> it was a whoop. Is that your phone? Must be, but... I don't understand. I didn't hear a damn thing. Your phone did something weird. I did something weird. There's, there's prehistoric right there. Yeah, look at that. Shifting sand. See the dune? It's got a... That's Bobby Historic. Yeah. <laughs> That was a, that was a hill right there going down a slope of a dune. First time I've ever taken etc. I want to figure out how much it's all about. Yeah, etc. Seems like it's about a ten footer, huh? Yeah, like always, <sighs> typical. <laughs> Maybe if you clean out that side and backfill to that side, you can get the other side if that about. is supported by sand. If you get that whole thing, get nothing, or oh, you'll get something. Oh yes. You will, you will get something. Are you still cruising on the bottom though? Yeah. Yeah, it was. Let's go. People were self-conscious about their gray hair, even back then. Liquid hair dye for your mustache hair. Just missed. Hinge mold. I found a hole in So good. Is that black or Tis a tis a black attack. Damn it, another McEwen? Thought it looked cobalt. <laughs> Yeah, these McEwens are maxi throwbackies. Yeah, because they weren't colored, weren't, weren't colored glass. Yeah, they're all beat up too. They're used a lot. Making our project. There's another black attack. Skinny black attack. Oh, 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 come back here. Get back here, little, little fragger. <laughs> Worm confections. What the hell that tastes like? <laughs> oh, so clean. Yeah, not very acidic soil here. Bucks on it. Damn, gotta get the bucks. Maybe I can glue it back together and get some pieces. Very cool. This is kind of crazy. This is a conch shell. Refer to the mud larking with Arnie video. <laughs> These used to be uh, in the bay before uh, pollution killed them. Now we have Chinese mitten crabs. Mm hmm. But these were native. Someone picked this off of a beach, collected it, and brought it all the way here. Crazy. A collector back in the day brought this a long ways. Oh, I saw this. Payne's Creole Liniment. <laughs> Creole Liniment from the South, from New Orleans. Ronald, 1850s. I wonder if it's a New Orleans bottle. Ugh, wish that was all. All done here. Cray cray. Here's what we rescued from the uh, equipment. Look at that grade. It just, there was probably some kind of hill here. And, whoa, there's the wall. <laughs> That's the wall of the pit. It goes all the way up to the slab. And then there's pieces of the layer. There's pieces of the layer stuck in the bottom of the slab. <laughs> yeah. This would have been... So after they demo the slab... Actually, during the demo of the slab, this pit would have been completely destroyed. How are we going to fill this? So here it is. 
chronicling it for the ages. Sand hole. <clears throat> it's, that's writing slate. What school children used to use to write on back in the day. Oh, either I carved that with my shovel, or the hands of the dead children did. There's a bot on the outside of where the wall was. Let's see what it was. Oh. Oh. Ah. Duh. Oh well. Lights, camera, action. We got light. Now I just want to see cobalt. You want the blues. Huh. I'm not depressed, but I'd rather have the blues. Yourself a trash layer. 70s, 80s. Yeah, strappy. Strap side flask. Got some color to it. Whiskey. Got some color. Ooh, look at how easy that just falls out. Beautiful. Yellowy. Yeah. It's not the far now. Hey, Brad. <laughs> There's another one. Beautiful. Early 1880s. Strapside Western Whiskey Flask. Yeah, that's the layer you have to dig. That's interesting. Don't miss Special it. bonus artifact spotlight video featuring the uterine supporter. So we were digging a trash pit for a building marked Sal on the Sanborn map one night. This was Sanborn's abbreviation for saloon. The block we were on was situated right next to the railroad tracks and had been described by local newspapers in the 1880s as a place where many ladies of the night resided. In this pit, we were finding objects that when found together and in high numbers, usually indicates you're digging the trash of a brothel. We found about 10 Florida water bottles. Florida water was a unisex cologne used as a skin toner and scent to freshen up after each client. Druggies. 70s. Is it the Water Street one or the right? Yeah, it's probably like late 70s, 80s. The early 70s one says oh, Water, water Street, New York. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The address. Yeah, that one was this one. Oh, Murphy. Murray and Lame Man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There. there was a Peruvian bitters bottle, which was a high alcohol percentage curative tonic, basically a feminine way to get drunk. Come on, baby. Us. Peruvian, baby. Too bad you didn't get the grand prize. <laughs> there you go. 80s. Pleasing the ladies again. Apply top. Apply top, yeah. bunch of vulcanite douches used to squirt the Florida water into the <clears throat> certain hard to reach places. Tons of these little petroleum jelly jars. 
Petroleum jelly was used as a moisturizer for dry skin as well as a personal lubricant. And then we dug up this. Also made of vulcanite, a super dense rubber resembling plastic, this was part of a medical device called Dr. McIntosh's Natural Uterine Supporter, which was intended to prevent pelvic organ prolapse. In other words, the descent of pelvic organs due to damage of muscle tissue. The part we found was attached to hip straps and inserted into the vagina until it cupped the cervix, thereby supporting the uterus. Now this next part is a guess, but I strongly believe that this device was worn by a prostitute with pelvic organ damage due to constant rough sexual activity and possibly multiple pregnancies. It may be hard for some to think about, but there were lots of rough men in the Wild West and a relatively fewer amount of women, especially in dusty railroad cow towns like the one we're digging in. So any sex worker in a place like this probably saw lots and lots of business.